What's going on guys, Jason's Dragon Bane here, and now that Regionals is over and I'm able to have a little bit more time on my hand to where I'm able to record a little bit more, um, I'm going ahead and try and get some more videos uploaded for you guys, sharing off the deck and just some of the stuff that I see going on. Um, so the first matchup we had today was actually supposed to be a full match, but the guy ended up quitting and I really actually never found out what he was playing until the replay. Um, it turned out to be a 56 card samurai deck. Um, I actually started off with the rooster transmodify combo. Um, I actually only got to pull this once off at regionals and he actually had max C so I didn't go through with the entire play. But this combo I really like because it just sets up so much advantage on board so quickly. So yeah, it ended up <laughs> He didn't really do much to my setup. Um, it's like by the end of this turn, I was going to have still all of this on board. He couldn't destroy the Tenzin because I summoned Raven. And then Dragon was going to be easily able to special summon Rooster once I got rid of the tokens. So, yeah, it essentially did nothing for him. So, we'll move on to the next game. Which was against Malifix. Um, this duel was actually quite a bit harder because I did not open up with hardly any of my monsters. Um, you can get these sort of car these hands. Um, it's a little bit harder to come by, but it does happen every now and then. Um, unfortunately, he did hit the Phoenix Chain for my with Misty, but stuff like that happened, so I couldn't really do anything. Um, I did tank it on Dragon to make sure I took less damage, and then Magic Planter was automatically live. Um, the Skill Drain is actually really what hurt. Because with Skill Drain on board, I could no longer just simply get over his Malefics through my monster effects. I had to rely on different tactics. So I was really hoping to start drawing Misties or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure why he saw a Morning Wolfbark, but it was okay by me. Um, this, I actually made a very bad misplay right here. I miscalculated what Kagatushi's attack points were going to be at, so I was thinking, oh, I can tense him over his 4,000, but no, I actually misplayed right there. So the Padre and the Raven, I was like, I'll just set Raven, he's going to attack it, and then I'll get a formation ready for next turn if I can do something. So thankfully, my draw turned out to be the one card that can get my butt out of this situation. And I was able to start going for a game-winning shot on this play now. Thanks be, thankfully because I did still have Tenson face down. So yeah, after all the damage, Cowboy just came in and stole the game. And the next one I have for you guys is a Soul Charge deck. Uh, I called it Soul Charge because I never really actually saw anything that told me exactly what it was. It turned out to be Curry Bandit Chaos Lightform thing. But really the only thing I saw was the Soul Charge. So um, I started with the usual 3-axis combo. Um, this video just really does show how much Fire Fists have to commit to the board. As by the end of this turn, I now have a total of, I believe, 9 cards to his 6. So... I have a lot of cards on board already. So it's like, this is where um, a Cyanide is really the uh, problem for Firefish usually, is because we have to worry about committing to the board so heavily. But that's why this deck does run Triple Fiendish Chain and the Double Effect Veiler, is because it really has to be able to stop that kind of shenanigans from going on. So once I went to Carnal, he knew it was game over. Um, and the last one we have is a Mythic Rulers deck. Uh, this is actually a really good duel if I remember 100% correctly. Um, this is, uh, this hand I was actually very, I was really dreading actually playing this once I saw it was Rulers and I had all of Phoenix, all the three Phoenix Chains, the Effect Baylor. I was like, wow, it's like, okay, I can negate effects for days, but that's really all I could do. I couldn't really set up anything, but thankfully he wasn't doing much, and then he doesn't do Compulse ever, which could have really hurt. I mean, he could have Compulse Leopard right there, and it would have hurt me really bad. 
Except for the fact that I did have um, Tenken face down, but it's like at the same time he let me go through the entire thing and then just compulse Yoko his face down. So I was like, okay, we're we're now in a pretty good situation because we have some good strong monsters on board. So he goes on through the drawing spree, gets the blaster on the, one of the Phoenix chains. Second, he summoned the Mythic Wood. I was like, oh, here comes Exciting. Thankfully, I did still have Phoenix Chain and an Effect Mailer, so I knew I wasn't having to worry about this Exciting Night at all. And then, drawing, he drew into um, his Redox. Thankfully, I did draw Misty to get rid of Skill Drain again. So, after that, it was just game winning for me. Um, I actually did that at Regionals as well. I blind Misty and happened to hit the Skill Drain against another Skill Drain Dragon Lord deck. So the second he's our cowboy, he decided to quit, and that's where I we've got I got one bonus video I almost forgot I want to show you guys. Um, this was a duel I came across through random spectate, and it just really showed what not to how to really not do. I'm not even sure how I want to say this. It's you really need to know what each card does. It's like he did a very good play misting the Malithic world, but personally, I would have almost... It's like, it's a double-edged sword if you wait for them to summon it, because if they summon the Stardust, then you're at a point where then you can't get rid of the field spell. But at the same time, if it's not, then you make them waste resources. So he does the usual 3-axis stuff and has the Trap Tricks engine thrown in. Um, I'm not sure exactly why he didn't attack with Marmello. It's not like he could have done anything. So, here he tries the bottom list, the Malithic, but Bound Creator says you can't destroy him. Then he tries to finish chain it. Well, this says you can't target them. I was like, okay, he's going to do something smart this time. Because he has Tensu. So I was like, okay, he's going to go into the 4-axis combo, go into Cardinal, and bounce the Bound of the Creator and the um, Swords of Revealing Light. But um, he did the ultimate mistake of he did Bear's Effect. It's like you really need to watch out for these things that prevent destructions. That's one of the keys of Firefist. Is you got to be able to know when you can actually destroy a monster and when you have to do something else. So yeah, it's like at that point he's in a completely losing situation, and I found it really funny that he just put himself in so bad of a situation. Um, that's where I'm going to end the video, guys. Hopefully I can get this uploaded for you guys very soon. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.